This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff. So you get the videos when I put them out. So you don't think I'm seeing analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market. So we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I did a video yesterday. I said there are billions of counterfeit AMC shares out there. And a 10 to 1 reverse split will not save them. That's not enough because of all the billions of counterfeit shares. And then I had people telling me I'm delusional, that I got a tinfoil hat on, and all this other nonsense. But that's what the shills do. So, you know, I, I'm not really bothered by it. But here's the thing. And here's why I believe there are billions of counterfeit shares. First thing you got to understand that you got all these market makers. People think it's just Citadel, Virtue. No. Yo, the biggest market makers by headcount is SIC, which is Susquehanna, Oliver, Jane Street Capital, Citadel Securities, DRW, IC Markets, and IMC. Okay? So you got all these market makers that are responsible for market liquidity. And then you add Virtue in there. I mean, you're talking about the top 10. And what they're doing is they're creating counterfeit shares on top of counterfeit shares on top of counterfeit shares. Now, they call them synthetics, but y'all know what, how, what I feel about that term synthetics. It's just their way of minimizing the criminality of, of what they're engaged in when they call it synthetic shares instead of counterfeit shares. But here's the thing. You got all these companies that are short in the stock. Now, they felt because of COVID... Nobody was able to go to the movies. They could short it into the ground and make some easy money. But retail investors stepped in and bought up all the shares that the institutions were selling. At one point, resident retail investors owned 90% of the float. And this was over two years ago. And we kept buying and buying and buying. And, that, and as we kept buying... There was still more shares to short. There was still more shares. Every time we bought, more shares magically appeared. Every time we bought, more shares magically appeared. Where do you think these shares were coming from? They were coming from the market makers. They were coming from the market makers. And then, remember, what they're doing is quasi-illegal. So do you think SIC, Susquehanna, called Citadel? Yeah, yeah, we, we actually, you know, created the entire float of AMC just by ourselves. You think they did that? You think they called Citadel or DRW or Virtue or Jane Street Capital and admitted to, com to, to commit the felony? Of course they didn't. They just kept printing the shares. They just kept printing the shares and pushed them out in the market because they assumed retail investors would do what we normally do which is buy high and sell low. You know, and a lot of people might, might not want to hear that, but that is how the big dogs make money, by getting us to buy high and sell low, and they make the difference. But we flipped it on them by holding on to AMC. And what they kept doing, they just kept printing the shares, printing the shares, printing the shares. So does Susquehanna know exactly how many Counterfeit AMC shares Citadel produce for liquidity? They don't. You think Jane Street Capital know how many Susquehanna put out? You think Citadel knows how many Oliver put out? And then, and then, and then, on top of all that, and this is just my opinion, I'm going to tell you to buy, hold any stock, or use any broker. I believe the brokers got into the game also. I believe the brokers started putting shares into our accounts that wasn't really there because they felt AMC was going to go into bankruptcy and they would never have to pay the shares back. Okay? So, not only do I believe the market makers created billions of counterfeit shares and they didn't call each other and admit to committing crimes, they kept all that stuff in-house. They kept all that stuff in-house. So they have no idea 
how many counterfeit shares are really out there. And I believe that brokers got into the market maker game and started creating liquidity by just, when we buy the shares, they just credit our account with the shares when they never ever purchased the shares in the open market. They never even got them from the market makers. And that's why I believe there are billions of counterfeit shares out there, counterfeit AMC shares, and that a 10 to 1 reverse split will not save them. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think all these market makers were calling each other, calling each other and admitting to breaking the law? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm breaking the law. I'm committing felonies. They didn't do that. They kept all their criminal activity in-house. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.